Welcome to Kumo Cloud Installation and Setup. My name is Eli. I am an elite diamond contractor with Mitsubishi Electric. I'll be your guide in this tutorial as we walk through the proper installation and setup of Kumo Cloud. As a refresher, Kumo Cloud is an app and web service that uses a wireless interface to allow owners to remotely control Mitsubishi Electric cooling and heating systems from either a smartphone or a tablet. Kumo Cloud works with all new Mitsubishi Electric indoor and most outdoor units. This tutorial follows a typical system installation and steps you through downloading the Kumo Cloud app, identifying the owner's wireless network, installing the wireless interface, connecting a new site, and adding indoor units. Let's begin by assuming your sales team has spec'd the job and scheduled you for the installation. The units you will be installing are in your work vehicle and you are ready to begin. When you arrive, the owner greets you at the door. At this point, you introduce yourself and explain a little bit about the installation. This is also an opportunity for you to have the owner download the Kumo Cloud app. This way, they'll be ready for you to do the setup when your installation work is complete. Step 1. Downloading the Kumo Cloud app. The Kumo Cloud app is available to download from Google Play, the Apple App Store, and Amazon Apps. Like most apps, the installation steps are straightforward. Locate the app, tap Install, and monitor the download process. Once downloaded, the home screen will appear, followed by the Create Account screen. Here the owner will enter an email address and create a password. Tapping Next brings up the terms and conditions of use. After the owner taps I Agree, the Zone screen will appear. This is where they will receive a message to ask you, the professional, for help to complete the setup. Have your customer record the email address and password used for Kumo Cloud app in their files. You might even suggest they write it down on the work invoice or installation instruction manual. Step 2. Identifying the owner's wireless network. In addition to downloading the Kumo Cloud app, the owner will need to obtain their router's name, model number, and password. This information can be found on the router's label. If the owner has changed the password of their router, they will need to provide the new password in order for setup to be completed. Ask the owner to obtain this information while you focus on installing the units. It is important to note that Kumo Cloud will only connect to a 2.4 GHz channel. If the owner's router is dual band, ask them to provide the password for that specific channel. Step 3. Installing the wireless interface. Installation of the wireless interface should be done after the indoor and outdoor units are installed and a test run is conducted. Following these steps ensures the system functions properly. When you are ready to install the wireless interface, turn off power to the entire system, remove the unit's cover, and locate CN105 on the indoor unit control board. This connector supplies both power and communication to the wireless interface. Holding the white connector of the wireless interface, slide it into the red connector on the board until you hear a click. Once connected, the lights on the wireless interface will illuminate. The blue light will blink four times, indicating the interface is communicating and going through configuration mode. The green light will illuminate, indicating that the unit is receiving power. If you don't see this pattern of lights, Check to see the connector is pushed all the way in. There are two buttons on the wireless interface, Configuration and Factory Reset. You will not need to press either of these during installation. In the event the unit does not function properly, consult the Technician Operation Manual before pressing the Factory Reset button. The back of the wireless interface contains unit-specific information that should be recorded in the space provided in the Installation Instruction Manual. You will need the MAC address for setting up the unit in the Kumo Cloud app and the serial number for any future service calls. For mounting purposes, a small piece of adhesive tape is supplied with the wireless interface. When affixing the tape, be careful not to cover up the unit-specific information. If you are installing multiple units, repeat the steps we just covered. Connect the wireless interface to CN105, confirm the light sequence, and record the MAC address and serial number. It is also a good idea to photograph each room and the back side of the wireless interface. 
Retaining these photographs for your service records will help you quickly identify any unit that is not functioning properly. Step 4. Connecting a new site. Now that the wireless interface is installed, let the owner know you are ready to complete the setup. It's probably best for the owner to hand you their phone and let you step through the connection. To begin, tap the settings icon. This will take you to the settings screen. On the settings screen, tap system setup. This will allow you to access the installer settings. Tap installer settings to set up the owner's location as a new site. A new home row with zero zones appears by default. Tap on that row to begin adding the newly installed indoor unit. Tap Add Indoor Unit. Follow the prompts and enter the network name and password. Pay close attention to the letter, case, and any special characters. Entering this information incorrectly is one of the most common problems with connecting new equipment. Tap Next to continue. Tap Allow to let Kumo Cloud access your location. And begin searching for zones. Kumo Cloud will detect the signal emitted from each wireless interface connected to the indoor unit. Once all units are found, site connection is complete. Step 5. Adding Indoor Units Adding indoor units is a continuation of the site connection steps. The app displays the Bluetooth signal from the wireless interface near to the device. Generally, the signal reaches beyond the size of most rooms in residential spaces. Notice that the two units we found have weak signals. This can occur if you are not standing near the indoor units. Note the MAC address of the weak signal unit and move to that room location. Standing within 5 to 10 feet of the unit should improve the signal strength reading. However, if you are within range and the signal does not improve, you may need to tap Search again. Depending upon the floor plan of your installation, it may be necessary to reposition the wireless interface on the top, bottom, or alternate side of the indoor unit. When the signal strength improves, tap the unit to continue the connection steps. Tap the Zone Name field and enter a name for the room where the unit is installed. You will be prompted to repeat this step for each indoor unit detected. Once the name is entered, Tap Next. Kumo Cloud will read the capabilities of the indoor unit and may display this screen. If the unit is ducted, you will need to tap No Set Airflow to make adjustments and additional unit settings such as static pressure and installation position. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll go ahead and tap Yes. Elections for auto changeover can be made by tapping the corresponding row. Keep the default No option if the system is a multi-zone MXZ to avoid unexpected periods in standby mode. In this instance, we'll keep the default response and simply tap Next. Before saving, review the settings. Many applications will not require any additional changes. However, you can check the signal strength, auto changeover, and display offset from this screen. Although they appear in the app, some of the displayed options may not pertain to the installed unit. Tap Save to finalize your settings. Congratulations! System setup is now complete. If your installation included multiple wireless interfaces, now is when you would tap Add Indoor Unit and repeat the steps we just performed. Otherwise, tap Transfer to Owner. Here's your opportunity to enter your contact information in case the system requires future service. Once entered, simply tap Next. Enter the homeowner's preferred email address and check the Installer Settings checkbox. This will prevent the homeowner from making unintended changes to the system. Then tap Send Email. The owner will receive an invitation email containing their login email address and the installer screen will display. Tap Home to see the home screen and the named zone. You are all done. From here, the owner can tap the zone to control their own unit. 
This concludes the Kumo Cloud installation and setup tutorial. For additional Kumo Cloud resources, go to mylinkdrive.com and download the operation and owner manuals.